Now, as part of efforts to contain the spread of COVID-19, the federal government has launched a new strategy, Skill 3.0, to address implementation and missing gaps that filled in skills to 2.0 earlier launched this year. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, boss Mustafa Wal-Lanchin, said that the strategy will help Nigeria to scale a fight against pandemics. Benedict Oko now reports. The low perception in COVID-19 vaccine administration has propelled the federal government to launch a new strategy called Scales 3.0. At the official launch earlier today in Abuja, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, said that Nigeria's new strategy will address the implementation gap that failed in Scales 2.0. Nigeria has continued to experience changes in the factors that influence demand and uptake of COVID-19 vaccines. These changing situations are not uniform across the country. They vary from state to state and therefore require continuous review of our strategies for promoting demand and ensuring vaccines access and accountability. Earlier in February 2022, we launched Optimize Scales 2.0 strategy, which even though has proven to be effective in ramping up COVID-19 vaccination coverage, the proportion of fully vaccinated Nigerians is still low when compared to the set target. The present record of only over 24.4% of the total eligible population of fully vaccinated as at 3rd August 2022 leaves much to be desired. So this is a reminder that we need to scale up. And I believe the launch of Scales 301 would be an impetus for scaling up and doing that as quickly as possible. The Minister of Health, Usagi Ehanire, who laid down perception from different states, noted that 34 states in Nigeria recorded low in vaccination drive. Here's the new strategy that would address the issues. As of the 3rd of August 2022, only about 25% of eligible population has been fully vaccinated. With only three states, Nasawa, Jigawa, and Kano, having a vaccination coverage of over 50%. We are left with 34 states. And when I mentioned 34, I also include the SCT, performing not quite optimally in vaccination coverage. Hence the need for the team to refine the current 2.0 scale strategy to accelerate the vaccination by identifying the enablers that are unique to each state and developing them and also deploying them as state-specific strategies that will help us to ramp up coverage. The Chief Convener of the program, the Executive Secretary, National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shahib, said that the new strategy uses human-based drivers to address low perception in COVID-19 vaccine administration. As you must have heard earlier, as of today, the 8th of August 2022, the number of eligible persons who are fully vaccinated currently stands as 27,703,573. Therefore, the proportion of the total eligible population that have been vaccinated in Nigeria is 25%. Although the progress we recorded with optimized skills 2.0 implementation is appreciable, our strategic review also showed that there has also been an increased low COVID-19 risk perception, which needs to be overcome. Our disaggregated state performance analysis also revealed that there are important state-specific bottlenecks that must be addressed in their various contexts for us to see improved vaccine uptake. Scale 3.0 is an evidence-based update that fixes the box in Scale 2.0 and uses 
human-centered demand generation design to address low COVID-19 risk perception in the country. The Director General NCDC, Ife Dayo Aditifa, talked about different variants and its protection measures. We run the risk of generating variants. Actually, with each replication cycle of the virus, variants are, are generated. The issue is the luxury that would result in a variant that will be problematic for all of us and lead to um, what we experienced in the, in the first few weeks of the, of, of the pandemic. So, uh, please uh, take on board safety measures, including the use of vaccines. The Chairman of Northern Traditional Council on Vaccination, Samaila Mohamed, faulted the conspiracy theory surrounding COVID-19 vaccination. I want to take advantage of this program to add my voice to the call to all Nigerians that I yet received a COVID-19 vaccination to take advantage of the launch of Scale Step 1 for initiative to do so and in the process access to immigration and other health care services from the same address. The WHO country representative to Nigeria, Walter Kazadi Molombo, said Africa is lagging behind and there is a need to set a new drive. Most of the world that has been affected adversely has gone ahead and vaccinated almost the entire population. We've heard it, Africa has been lagging behind. We need to boost our effort to protect Africa. And if Nigeria can't do it, then nobody can do it in Africa. So if I have one advice, let's take this opportunity. Let's get vaccinated. Let's get the booster. Skills is an acronym for service, delivery, communication, accountability, logistics, electronic reporting, and supportive supervision. It was introduced to rapidly ramp up COVID-19 vaccine coverage and reinvigorate routine immunization uptake.